So today's a hot day, as you can see by the chickens, which are all panting. Look at them. They're all hot. They're panting like dogs. They're even spreading their wings open. And it's only 80 degrees. And when chickens get hot, they pant like dogs. They have water. It's cold water too. Look how hot they are. But they'll be alright. They will be alright. So yeah, it's the afternoon now, and it's uh, a lot cooler, um, but as you can see, there's a lot of poop, and like, I know I've mentioned this before, but if you're going to have chickens like these, that this many, and you're, you definitely have to have a yard, and move them at this point, six weeks, seven weeks, you have to move them at least twice, minimum. There you go, see? They like to swing. That's a little swing. Because they already ate all the food in it. Um, we restrict our food, like I said, around 7 o'clock at night. And we feed them in the morning, 6 a.m. But because they can't be laying on their poop, you know, they'll get sick. A lot of poop. So you got to make sure you have enough space to move this tractor twice a day, if not three times. Um, with 21 chickens, optimal it would be three times a day. But I'm moving it twice a day for now. So I'm going to move it right now. I'm going to give them the strawberry from my garden that I didn't eat. Ooh. See how they react. I mean, I'm pretty sure they'll like it. Who doesn't like strawberries? <sighs> what is that? No? No bueno? You only want to eat grass and chicken feed. So, JR, my husband went to go buy some chicken food because we were out yesterday. And Tractor Supply was completely out of stock, like sold out of chicken food. And the chickens had no food. <laughs> and all they had was this little bag. Okay? This little bag right here. That will last the chickens about two days. And so it's already halfway gone. See? And they're gonna need food later on tonight and tomorrow in the morning. So they were not gonna be restocked until Sunday and I can't wait till then because they won't have enough food. So I'm having to drive to Queen Creek. The tractor the tractors are playing Queen Creek and that's about 14 miles from here. So me and Caleb are gonna go buy some chicken food. Here he is, look. What are you doing? Come on, let's go. Yeah. Oh, okay, don't. Why? Because we went to go get the chicken food, but as always, I can never resist myself and I have to go to the nursery to see what they have. No, baby. Yeah. Any veggies? And I'm actually looking for watermelon. And they have it right here. Come on, get me some of that. They have a little pond here. Koi pond. Look at that big old fish right there. It's like a head face. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Okay. Got the chicken food. Are you serious? Yeah, no we don't have slides underneath the front. Yeah.
They are six weeks, no, seven weeks, and it's really hot today. What is it, like 90 degrees? Yeah, it's 91 right now. Yeah, so that's that's too much for the chickens. And so we're giving them, I uh, um, I emptied the ice maker in the in their water bucket, and they are spraying them right now, but. <laughs> Come here. What? This, one, this one's like so into it, like she just closes her eyes and takes it. Yeah? Yeah. She just closes her eyes and takes it. <laughs> she loves it. Alright, that way they dry off also before the sun goes down. And she stopped down. she stopped panting too. Yeah, I know. She cooled off now. Yeah. <laughs> but they need to dry off before the sun goes down because it's going to get back down into the 60s tonight. So. Yeah. They can do 60s. 60s at night, 91 during the day. What do you want to do? Here it comes. <laughs> so another thing that I'm doing for the chickens is putting ice in their water to keep them cool. See right there. So I empty the box, the the ice maker box in there every time I give them water. Honestly, it's not even that hot, but they're already panting. It's 75 degrees, okay? And let me show you. Okay. Look at them. They're dying. It's so hot. Y'all don't even know what true Arizona heat is. 75 degrees. They're too hot. And look at their massive poops. They're like dog poops. So, it's 85 degrees now. And it's starting to feel a little hot. So I'm gonna hose them down. that the chickens are gonna die that he bought them a fan. So a battery operated fan. So gotta go put the fan. I mean I don't blame him. When we had our egg laying chickens in the summer we had an AC for them. So having a little fan is nothing. But I wonder if uh what are they gonna do with this fan? I hope they don't uh mess with it. You like it? You like having the fan? <laughs> They're hungry, so I'm gonna give them more food. <clears throat> this is why you wear boots to be inside, because there's lots of poop in here. And you don't want to bring that poop. Ugh. I'm super hungry. Oh, crazy. Crazy chickens. Watch out, watch out, watch out.
we are going to move these little chickies into the chicken coop because they're dying of, of heat and it's 95 degrees and I don't know how to keep them cool right now. The sun hits the brooder the entire afternoon and they're literally, they're, they are literally trying to hide um, under, between those bricks underneath and they're really, really hot. The chicken pan was not ready, but we're making it ready in an emergency kind of thing right now. So that's what we're doing. So here they are, the inside of the chicken run. Uh, always these emergencies with these chickens. So I don't want them, but. <laughs> Thank goodness for those soup ties. Yeah. But uh, we, we had to, um, there's chicken, this chicken wire wall here, it was all like flapped on the ground, so we had to like zip tie it. Um, because they were gonna, they were gonna die in that brooder. It was like an oven, you know? So they're out here now in the chicken run. They got their water. I'm gonna bring their food in a minute. But this is cold feathered. I mean they're almost cold. Yeah, but the chicken the chicken coop's not ready. It's been empty for a year. It's a rock in there. Oh my gosh. Caleb's been throwing rocks. That's the chicken coop. Uh, we had like I mentioned before, we've had egg layers before. There's that. something inside. Huh? Oh my gosh! What is that? Oh, that is oh my goodness! A giant lizard. Oh my goodness, I heard that noise! Oh, that's so gross! That is so gross! Ah, uh, that is so gross. Oh my goodness! That is so gross. It is so huge. Oh my God. It's like Godzilla. I think it's a bearded dragon like somebody's pet. No. Yeah, I do. It is so big, JR. I was about to run out your way, so just let you know. Oh, oh I'm getting out of here. Oh, open, oh, open, open the thing. <laughs> Baby, just grab with your hand. What? It's huge, huh? There's poisonous ones? I didn't know that. Well, it has to get out of this chicken run. Ah! <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> Baby, just grab with your hand. <laughs> Heck no, that is a bearded dragon. He's all, he's, he's flaring his blue colors at me. Then, he's, then he's grab changing. it with your hand. And so what? Uh uh, Rock, uh, Caleb. Come here. Come here. Look at his belly. His belly's all blue. Oh, it is a bearded dragon. It's a bearded dragon. Stop. Oh, wow. I did see can that. I, can I see, please? Caleb, if he runs on you. I can't okay, get out of here. Get out of here. Go. Go. Oh, my gosh. He keeps running into the squares. Oh. Where's he at? Oh, my God. That is so good. Where'd he go? Just like. Yeah, I don't want them in my butt. Just because I'm good with animals don't mean... Yeah, nobody told you to start petting them. it. <laughs> Another day. Um, they're almost done with their seven-week period, but look. I put a, a little shade cloth here for them because it is very hot. Um, let me show you. So, with the shade cloth, they're able to... Because they were all over there in the corner. Let me show you. They were over there in the corner, all of them. Because that was the main spot of the shade. But there's no airflow. So, I brought the shade out here. And now they're all spread out. There's that little fan. Just sitting right in front of it. <laughs> I'm going to give them some more food and, and water. 
fresh water with ice but yep one more week girls I put this little temporary shade for the plants because the summer really hit us hard now it all of a sudden it was here and um it's supposed to be spring but it's in the 90s and um uh, this is morning sun which is not too bad they can get morning sun but anyway so i was moving some plants into the shade i moved the garlic and some flowers and i was gonna pick up this pot the cilantro that i'm letting it bolt because i want the the seed so i go to pick it up and it's it's rooted into the ground you can't move it isn't that funny look at that wow yeah these are too small you know these are too small of of pots let me see this one <laughs> check that out well at least I'm not harvesting anymore I'm just using it for seed how funny so, oh my goodness, it is so hot that I went to Walmart and I bought these trays, these plastic trays, and I put water and ice because chickens get cooled off with their feet. So when we used to have the, the egg layers, we would in the summer we would put the trays with ice water and they would stand on it and they would stop panting. So that's what they're doing right now. Look at them. But apparently, look, that one's even sitting on it. Um, apparently, it's not enough because they're still panting. But they'll be all right. So, yeah. Look, that was one of, <laughs> sitting, but she doesn't want to sit in the water. <laughs> but it's cool. It had ice on it. How about a bag of ice? Okay, so I know that by now we probably should have more things, but this is all we've ordered. Uh, well, we ordered more stuff, right? Yeah, but I can't find it. So, we have the, the knife for cutting, you know, dispatching. <clears throat> and then we ordered the bags, the, you know, the packaging bags. And they come with the little, little wire thing that you shut it. Oh, they're little zip ties. <clears throat> we ordered, what is it, Taylor? It's the, the heat gloves. It's the is it is it like a heat resistant glove that goes in the water, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's that glove that you wear when you're dunking the chicken. So you have to have a special glove because the water's gonna be 140, 150 degrees. You don't wanna get your hand burnt, so you buy special glove. And he ordered it and he received it and he put it away and he cannot find it. I put it someplace where I knew I wasn't going to forget. And what happened? You forgot. Yeah, but I've been through this whole house and I can't find it. <laughs> but anyway, we have the glove, we have the knife, and the bags. And we ordered some other things. But I'll put that in the video in the next video so I can show you guys. But the time is getting ready and I'm nervous because I've never done this before. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.